Coming to you from NSC 2016 in Miami with Kayla Keckeisen, uh, the outgoing president of the Student Assembly Board of Directors. So Kayla, here at NSC is where elections happen, which means it was a year ago that you became president of the Student Assembly Board of Directors. So let me start with this. What did you think you were getting into a year ago? I honestly had no idea. I showed up as a candidate and all of a sudden saw Fred, the last president, on stage the entire time and just went, oh my God. <laughs> I don't like being on stage and had no idea what I was getting into, but it has been an absolutely amazing year. We've done a lot of great things. I've overcome my stage fright for the most part, um, so it's been really exciting, but a lot more than I ever thought it would be. So on that note, I mean, it isn't all speaking gigs. I mean, you've been on stage in that role, but that's not what it's all about. So what has the role been and, and what have you learned, let's say first about the profession in this year? About the profession is that we are always changing. and. Our entire association is amazing at letting us as students help pioneer that change from our side. Anything that we want to do as PT and PTA students, all of APTA has been overwhelmingly welcome to helping us make that happen. Our exchange chats have really grown, being on social media has grown. So I mean, we can really do anything to help our profession grow, which has been absolutely incredible. And then what have you learned personally? Personally, I've learned to be a really good listener and try to be, I guess the word is, be flexible more or less. I mean things change so often and it's really helpful to know where other people are coming from, what other people want, in order for us to be able to move forward and figure out a great plan. So it's been definitely been a challenge for me to be on that back end of just listening. I'm used to being very much of a go-getter go and just getting things done. So taking that step back has been a challenge for me but really great to learn this year. So you're used to being a go-getter, but on the you know the other hand, you said you don't like being on stage, and yet you were just on stage. You were one of the Ignite speakers tonight. You did a great job, and you kind of the theme, I guess, if, in my interpretation of listening to you talk, was you really sort of challenging students to get connected, to get out of their comfort zone, to go meet people. So I mean, are you a, through this experience of challenging yourself and pushing outside your comfort zone, are you different radically a year from now than you were a year ago? Oh, absolutely. I mean. I enjoy being in front of people talking, but I hate being the center of attention. I'm really not a big fan of being on stage, but in this position, you really have to be. And tonight in my speech, I haven't talked about it, you know, doing a couple of the speaking things that I did before, I've messed up pretty bad and had to kind of get through it on stage, but it's been a huge learning experience and everyone is so welcoming and helping you grow and being more authentic instead of being perfect makes you connect with people a lot better. So I did try to challenge students to really get outside their comfort zone. It's okay if it's awkward, it's okay if it doesn't work. I mean, just putting yourself out there makes it so much easier to meet people than if you just try to make sure it's perfect before you ever do. So if a student is watching this and wondering everything from should I get involved with student leadership to should I get involved with APTA to should I get involved, period, what would your advice be? Do it. Do it now. If there's anything that is speaking to you or calling to you where you really want to get involved, try it. I mean, Dr. Dunn, when we were candidates last year, walked up and said the first thing that she ever tried for, she got turned down and someone else beat her in that competition. I think it was for um, state level or whatever, like secretary at the state level. And if she would have stopped there, she never would have been the amazing president she is now. So hearing stories about other people not making it their first time really pushes you to want to do something more. And I mean, it could be being on a project committee or it could be something local or it could be something national. It really doesn't matter. If it's something that speaks to you, go for it. And if you don't get it the first time, it's a learning experience to so just be better and keep going. She is the bright, shining future of the profession. I am Jason Bellamy. You can see more videos like this on the NSC website, and I'll catch you later.